So there has been a sort of significant progress towards PST in last few years, and sort of maybe the syntax is of. Can you write bigger? Oh, oh sorry. So, um, so if uh, Z P co rank of uh, Selmer P Selmer for some elliptic curve over Q has rank one, then sort of we expect that this the analytic rank of corresponding elliptic curve is also one, and there was a sort of I mean this. Oh yes, I'll explain very soon. This is just a syntax. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's assumed everyone is born. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, and uh, so this is just to put some some words. So this was a sort of keyword of this is Skinner, Weizang, and this is for non-CM. And we'll talk about some some sort of missing cases. OK, so, um, so now let's just start with an elliptic curve over Q. So um, maybe some of the key invariants associated to it are its arithmetic rank. Okay, so just the rational points, it's a finitely generated abelian group. And uh, so we typically maybe expect this to be 1 or 0. So or 0, 1. And maybe the complexity kind of changes from 0 to 1. And you have this tate shaf ravich group, which is sort of conjectured to be finite. And um, so on the other hand, we have this complex Hasse-Way L function. Okay. Um, so I'll not maybe <laughs> recall the definition, but let's just say that this Birch and Sonnert and Dyer says that this um, arithmetic rank is nothing but the order of vanishing of this L function. <laughs> and it so says something more like formula for the leading term in terms of tate shaf ravich group. OK, so, um, so these are maybe like two basic invariants. And so they are somehow together um, encoded in a Selmer group. So, um, so let's just say that there isn't this sort of Selmer group which encodes both invariants in the following way. So there is an exact sequence. So EQ rational points tensor with QP mod ZP and then the P, P infinity part of the tate shaft ravish group. So, so now, I mean, because of sort of BST and finiteness of expected sha, we can just rewrite some conjecture, which is so it's just putting things together. But maybe um, so for r equals zero or one, the following are equal. So the first one is the rank is, um, that's all just the notation, but um, still recall. So rank is R and the sha is finite. The other part is so, I mean, because this is finite, so of course the, we expect this Selmer rank to be the same as this arithmetic rank. So. 
then the third um, part is this R is also the same as the analytic rank. So um, so three implies one was uh, sort of uh, the result in the title. So this was um, Rosagi, Koliwagin, and um, so also um, say Rubin. This is in the CM case. We'll um, say CM case very, very soon. And uh, just to s put some words here without um, saying something. So this maybe the key ingredients here were gross Zagi formula. And a uh, sort of Euler system of Higner points. In the sum of this case, it was some. Okay. And um, so now for uh, this sort of. Um, implication to um, implies three um, so for um, when r is zero this two implies three is a so again I'll just say it's um, without uh, saying more for time so consequence of some Iwasawa theoretic statement su suitable uh, main conjecture, and so this was in um, a. Uh, sorry, it was our main uh, conjecture. So. Sorry, I'll, um, yes. um, and and so so in particular, so this r equals zero. This is a consequence of um, work of. <coughs> Carto plus Skinner Urban in the non CM case and Rubin in the CM case. Okay. And um, what is CM again? Yes, let me. Um, yes, so, sorry. So we say that this E over Q is CM if it has e extra endomorphism. So if there exists oh, yes yeah yeah if there exists k or q imaginary quadratic the endomorphism algebra is k tensor q okay and um so so now um, this is For R equals one, this two implies three is a work of um, <coughs> decent uh, work of Skinner, based on for. Um, 
and so somehow uh, it seemed to that usually uh, as far as arithmetic of elliptic curves is concerned the results of about cm elliptic curves have traditionally come before non cm case but it seemed like this sort of um, their approach did not seem to work in the cm case so our result is the same statement in the cm case and, um, ordinary prime. It's uh, writing the same thing. Uh, let me uh, just make a couple of remarks and can stop. So the um, in this uh, first this approach also has an sort of Iwasawa theoretic flavor, uh, but different sort of main conjectures from the one um, in in this ranked zero case and some extra. So here, um, so also this is a similar flavor, maybe so. Also. And it's sort of based on some interaction among Higner points and elliptic units. Here maybe um, one of this just maybe some auxiliary point, but so so the question is maybe like which Higner points because if E has C M by K and if we just consider base change of E to K then the root number is actually plus one. So um, there's not I mean the usual there's no construction of Higner points in the classical sense, but one sort of introduces some auxiliary setup so. so, so. Uh, and such, such that I mean we are somehow in a sort of Higner situation, the sense of uh, this Yuan uh, Chang Chang, and um, and then one sort of tries to keep track of the initial initial data. Um, and so the proof uses a sort of maybe essentially um, uh, it uses most of the results in the Iwasawa theoretic results for the CM case, including non-vanishing of some anticyclotomic regulator. And I'll, um, so there are I mean, several <laughs> questions one can ask after this. So. So, so for example, one can ask the residually dihedral case, so residually CM. Or in case maybe more. Um, okay, and um, so, but yeah, I mean, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do, and. Um, and uh, Yetian will probably talk about this sort of give a detailed talk in the Princeton number theory seminar. So I'll stop here.